welcome you in the lecture series of random processes detection and estimation it is 31st lecture of this series in the previous lecture we have discussed the linear model that is useful to find mvue in this lecture we will discuss about the extension of the linear model that allows for noise that is not white white and uh, the output uh, and the outline of this lecture are general linear model MVUE for general linear model and in the objective of this lecture you will able to explain how the general linear model is used to find MVUE when the noise is not white so we will start with the general linear model in general linear model the two important extensions are first the noise vector omega is no longer white but has general Gaussian PDF with mean 0 and, and covariance matrix C. The observed data X also, in, uh, also include the contribution of the known signal vector S. Here C is not necessarily a scaled, parameter, a scaled matrix. If C is uh, positively defined and C inverse is positively defined, then C inverse is D transpose D where D is an N is to an invertible matrix. The matrix D acts as a whitening transformation when applied to a noise omega. Now if you consider omega dash is equal to D omega, uh, then it will be uh, covariance of omega dash, it will be expected value of uh, D omega and transpose of D omega and it will be D C D transpose and uh, I can write it as D D transpose, D transpose uh, inverse and D transpose and from this you will get identity matrix. Now the noise will be whitened since omega, uh, omega dash is equal to D omega with PDF uh, normal distribution with mean 0 and variance 1. We will get useful linear model x is equal to h theta plus omega x, theta, x dash is equal to dx and it will be dh theta plus d omega and dh is equal to h dash and so it will be h dash theta plus omega dash. So theta cap will be h dash uh, inverse of the matrix h dash transpose h dash and h dash transpose x dash and you can write it as an inverse of the matrix h transpose d transpose dh and H transpose D transpose DX because X dash is equal to DX H dash is equal to HD so you can also write it as inverse of the matrix H transpose C inverse H because this is defined by C inverse and H transpose C inverse X and the covariance of theta cap it will be C theta cap it is equal to inverse of the matrix H dash T transpose and H dash and it will be uh, inverse of the matrix H uh, transpose C inverse H now let us take one example let Xn is equal to A plus omega N where uh, small n is from 0 to n minus 1 where omega N is colored noise with n is to n covariance matrix C and h is equal to 1 the transpose matrix of all ones 1 1 1 and find MVUE here you know the MVUE of DC level it is A cap it will be inverse of the matrix h transpose C inverse h into h transpose C inverse x and you can write it as h transpose C inverse x divided by uh, this H transpose C inverse C inverse H it will be H here and it will be equal to uh, 1 transpose as you know it is 1 so 1 transpose C inverse X uh, divided by 1 transpose C inverse into 1 and the variance of A cap it will be v A cap uh, variance A cap it will be equal to inverse of the matrix H transpose C inverse H or you can write it as 1 by 1 transpose C inverse 1 and if C is equal to sigma square i MVUE is the sample mean with the variance sigma square by n and you have seen in some previous example the variance is sigma square by n and if C inverse D, D transpose D 
then the MVUE is a cap it will be equal to 1 transpose C inverse X divided by 1 transpose C inverse 1 and I can also write it as 1 transpose D transpose D X by 1 transpose D transpose D 1 so the value of D transpose D it is C inverse so I have put it in the value here of C inverse and uh, it will be D uh, transpose of matrix D1 x trans x uh, x dash divided by 1 transpose d transpose d1 and uh, we can also write as with the summation n0 to n minus 1 dn x dash n where dn is uh, you can write dn is d1 trans d1 n by 1 transpose uh, d transpose d into 1 so according to this equation first the data are first pre whitened uh, to form x dash n. Here they are pre whitened to form uh, x dash n and then averaged using pre whitened averaging uh, weights of dn. So now, here according to equation first, the data are first pre whitened to form x dash n. This is pre whitened here to form x dash n and then averaged using the pre whitened averaging weight dn another extension to the linear model allows for signal component that are known if s s is the known signal in data then linear model with this signal it will be uh, x is equal to h theta plus s plus omega to find the mvue let x dash is equal to x minus s so here x dash it will be h theta plus omega which is now in the form of a linear model x dash is equal to h theta plus omega and the mvue estimator of this you know it is theta cap it will be inverse of the matrix h transpose h h transpose and in place of x it will be x minus s and the covariance matrix of theta cap it will be c theta cap sigma square and inverse of the matrix h transpose h now consider one example consider the dc level along with exponential signal in colored gaussian noise case the observed data is xn is equal to a plus r is to the power n plus omega n where n is uh, small n is from 0 to n minus 1 and r is known a is to be estimated and omega n is the colored Gaussian noise with n is to n covariance matrix uh, C. So uh, with general linear model we have x is equal to h a plus s plus w and here h is transpose of uh, 1, uh, 1 1 1 1 unit matrix 1 matrix and uh, s is equal to 1 r is to r is to is r is to the power n minus 1 transpose and s is uh, the vector of uh, the transpose of vector 1 r is to r is to the power n minus 1 then the mvue of a then we can write here as x is equal to a and h transpose uh, h it will be 1 all 1s are here in the column uh, vector and s plus omega so the mvue of a it will be a cap it will equal to h transpose c inverse x minus s and uh, divided by h transpose c inverse h and it will be equal to 1 by n summation n 0 to n minus 1 x n uh, minus r is to the power n and the and the covariance matrix uh, of a c a cap it will be inverse of the matrix h transpose c inverse h and it will be equal because and because you know c is equal to sigma square at i and you can have this is sigma square by n covariance matrix of a cap there is one theorem related to mvue minimum variance unbiased estimator for general linear model if the data are modeled as x is equal to h theta plus s plus omega where x is n is to 1 vector of observation and h is n is to p observation matrix n greater than p and theta is p 
is to 1 vector of parameter to be estimated and s is the n is to 1 vector of known signal samples and omega is 1 is n is to 1 a noise vector uh, with the normal distribution with, with mean 0 and covariance matrix C. The MVUE of uh, theta cap, it will, uh, it will be theta cap is equal to inverse of the matrix H transpose C inverse H into H transpose C inverse X minus S. And the covariance matrix, it will be C uh, theta cap, it will be equal to inverse of the matrix H transpose C inverse H. Uh, for this MVU is efficient in that it attains CRLD. So, so far we have seen that the evaluation of the CRLD results in an efficient MVU estimator. If an efficient estimator does not exist, we are still uh, able to find MVU using the concept of sufficient statistic. Uh, and in the next lecture, we will discuss about the sufficient statistic. So, so far uh, in this lecture, we have discussed about general linear model. This, this was 31st lecture of the lecture series of random processes detection and estimation. Uh, and uh, in the next lecture, we will discuss about sufficient statistic uh, to find MVUE. Till then, thanks for listening this lecture. Thank you.